Hey everybody, we're here in the lab today to show you how to do the reaction between magnesium and hydrochloric acid. We're going to do this in a way that lets us measure the magnesium beforehand and measure how much hydrogen gas is produced through this reaction. Now this is only going to be the procedure. We're not going to go over how to write the balanced chemical equation or do any of the calculations. It's really just for you to see what to do for this procedure. These are the materials you're going to use for this experiment. From your drawer, you're going to use a 250 milliliter beaker and a stir rod. Other things you'll need to get equipment wise will be a burette clamp, a ring stand, a 50 milliliter udiometer or gas collecting tube. You'll need to use a ruler you're going to need to get some string. You'll need a stopper that's size double zero because it needs to fit in the end of the udiometer. At the main sink is going to be a large graduated cylinder. For reagents today, you're going to be using hydrochloric acid that is six molar concentration, some magnesium metal, and universal indicator is optional. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do, unless somebody has done this before you, you're going to want to make sure that your magnesium is cleaned off with the steel wool. Next, the amount of magnesium you're going to want to use is approximately two centimeters. You're going to want to get the exact mass, and the mass needs to be less than 0.5 grams of magnesium. Next, you're going to measure the mass of your piece of magnesium. So we've got 0.037 grams of magnesium. This length of string is going to hold your magnesium in place while it reacts so it doesn't float. The length you need is going to be approximately 15 centimeters. you can see how it's changing color. And now look at the bubbles on the Wait, piece of metal. Please it not dissolving like you. It's gonna go fast once the acid gets down there. I just that new. Did you start new? Oh, here it goes. What? See the red acid is coming down and as it the red acid comes down that's how it's dissolving the metal and when it dissolves the metal it turns uh, it gives bubbles too oh. 
it gives bubbles. It makes bubbles, see? All right, uh, thanks for watching. We hope that was clear enough about what to do, but make sure you ask your instructor about the steps if they need clarification. We started off with 0.37 grams of magnesium, and using standard stoichiometry calculations, we would have predicted that we would get 34 milliliters of hydrogen gas produced. However, in this reaction, the total gas volume, as you saw, was 39.70 milliliters. And there are some reasons for that that you're expected to understand and work through. So thanks for being here, and we'll see you in the lab. Bye-bye.